Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PIFX. In the last week's uh, overview that we've done live here on YouTube you've got many many great calls and I am looking to do the same for the upcoming week as well. So while I roll the interim disclaimer hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, uh, just a quick look at the, the news event, I will not read all of it because I know you guys skip this part to start looking at the charts uh, on these videos, but all I want to say that please keep an eye on the news event before you open any trade or just start your day by looking at the news event calendar and also if you're gonna trade the sterling be aware of this very important week we have there will be a lots and lots of headlines especially on monday and tuesday and we we having already headlines going on during this weekend so that's all what i need to uh, want to say about the news events for next week keep an eye on that every time before you enter any trade now let's start with the charts and uh, we will uh, start with the dixie as usual we are on the weekly time frame and what we had uh, <coughs> last week is a very strong bullish candle mainly based on uh, the euro weakness that we had after the ecb very dovish announcement and the free money and the money print printing that started uh, yet again so mr draghi was uh, very dovish and he really over delivered so bullish engulfing after retesting the 200 moving average got rejected another bullish week here strong one uh, we did not have a close below previous high on the weekly here but uh, we have a close above that on the daily we're gonna take a look so we tested all the way previous highs here at the 97.70 to then get a little bit of a correction after those nfp numbers we've got from the us because the headline itself was a very low one uh, as you may know we got like 20k when the market was expected 180k but uh, the average hourly earning was very good and the unemployment rate went down so despite all this uh, uh, very low number here we've got a couple of very good numbers and the hourly um, the average hourly earnings is what, what i'm looking for most of the time now when you have such a good um, and strong uh, employment uh, market so this little correction here is not much in my opinion on the daily we see that we broke above previous high after the ecb statement as i said we tested all the way uh, this high here from uh, december to uh, 2018 to then friday get this inside day so if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that we've got this move to the downside that looks to me most mostly like a correction there is some momentum to the downside but compared to these bullish candles here it is not much of um, momentum anyway to the downside so where the market tested last week is still my uh, level uh, of interest here previous uh, month um, a previous uh, low here and the monthly r1 i would say and previous broken structure so keep an eye on this level as a possible level for continuation even if this market will retest even lower which is even better you still should be looking for a bullish move i mean we have this low here this is the major structure as far as the dixie is above this structure we should be looking to buy the dips on the dollar so first level keep an eye here second level is down here around this uh, area we could also take a Fibonacci retracement of this move and see if we uh, have any confluence uh, level um, on the Fibonacci's and as you see the 38.2 is a very very interesting level at this previous high and the 50% retracement down here and these previous highs could be our um, 
uh, last line of defense for the bulls for the continuation so buy the dips is my main idea on the dollar uh, gold <clears throat> we go to the weekly you see that we after this uh, shooting star formation uh, we reached the uh, previous lows here on gold and got uh, some uh, push higher after the uh, NFP release uh, on Friday. So we've been going like sideways in a very narrow range here. And um, yeah, I uh, did publish this uh, on uh, both on uh, Facebook and YouTube. And uh, as I said, we've been in a very narrow range and to expect a strong momentum move out of this and we've got a really really nice move to the upside i was looking mainly f uh, to see if we're gonna get a fake out to then get a strong move to the downside anticipating a continuation of this uh, move to the downside that didn't happen but in any case what we should be watching is actually when a gold uh, if gold uh, gonna retest this structure here once again and start looking for possible uh, ev bearish evidence for another leg to the downside i think this market uh, need to test these uh, major lows down here before any uh, bounce higher or a continuation to the downside here so keep an eye on this structure here even up here where we have the 200 moving average on the four hour could be also a possible level in any case if we get a, a bounce back to the range and fail to enter back inside this uh, minor range down here that could be a possible signal that we may uh, get a deeper correction is if we fail to hold inside the range as you see here we tested we're testing right now the 200 moving average on the one hour on gold as well so keep an eye on that um, i will also remind you guys if you want a quick and fast update during your trading day uh, do um, follow me on uh, twitter i'm uh, very active there right now so here is down here you see my uh, twitter account um, open that uh, and follow me over twitter i'm very very active at, twit at twitter right now and uh, sending um, update during the trading day yeah oil <coughs> Also, a very uh, bumpy market uh, last week. And um, as you see here, let's take a look at the weekly. We ended up with a doji star here uh, last week. And uh, yeah, as I said uh, in the uh, weekly overview last week, we should keep an eye on uh, these, uh, this low here and uh, mainly this low here to be a possible support level, especially that we have the yearly pivot point and the um, uh, 55 handle uh, is also our level of interest since if we look left, we see that this level been acting as good support and resistance. So um, 200 moving average on the four hour also got tested and we uh, bounced back inside uh, this range so uh, nothing has changed here we had a sideways week last week and uh, we should uh, be um, keep looking at the same scenarios to happen as far as this uh, 55 is holding support look for a bounce to the upside to retest these previous highs and so on the major uh, resistance is still up here but as you see we there was this market trying to pushing lower and i think the bulls will keep holding uh, support down here so we have two key levels sell up here buy down here until we have a breakout um euro usd uh, the opposite of what happened on the dixie actually and uh, we're looking at the weekly time frame here you see that we closed almost at the just below the previous week's low here but we didn't close below this low the 200 moving average is still here right now and yet again we broke below it with a very strong uh, bearish engulfing candle if we look at this candle we did actually engulf the previous three candles bodies here so this is a very strong signal that this market may now continues to the downside on the daily we have a clear break below all the lows here so that we have 
lower lows and lower highs as you see here so we have this lower high another lower low another lower high and here we have uh, our latest lower low so this um, structure is now broken and uh, i'm anticipating to sell rallies um, the question is where to sell and uh, in my opinion uh, a correction higher toward this structure here would be a good level um, this little co little move to the downside here could be um, intraday closing uh, uh, longs here those who are trading intraday uh, closing trade this could be also the start of this move here uh, based on the NFP of course and uh, don't forget all the traders that went short during the week also maybe close their uh, position so that helped the move to the upside so levels to look for uh, for next week uh, I would say the first structure would be uh, this area here this uh, structure that got broken was acting as good support could act as resistance as first level to try to sell it second level is up here that is the second and the last def uh, level to, uh, for uh, the beers to defense so we do not want to see a break above this structure if that happened we are going back inside this uh, range and uh, maybe we would wait more uh, for more evidence for that short to happen so um, sell rallies is the main idea and uh, these are the levels that i am gonna be watching Sterling USD also um, week uh, last week here we ended up with a bearish engulfing after um, testing these previous highs we could not continue higher and um, very strong bearish engulfing so on the weekly if we look here we do not have much support until we reach this level down here on this market so this is uh, there is the question is this to happen or uh, that's just a, a correction on the daily because actually the levels that we are at right now is the 618 correction of this whole move at that same level we have the 200 moving average uh, it got tested almost to the pip this confluence here uh, but and uh, did not break uh, below it yet so where the market is testing right now is a pretty interesting level and um, the question is if this will hold as support or not as for now it does not look like we have um, any momentum from the bulls yet but uh, we should keep an eye on this structure uh, if this broken that mean we going to test this um, key level uh, support down here around the 1.2770 area uh, is the <coughs> the last level for the bulls to defend as you see we do have this pretty important structure down here that may act as support so where the market is testing right now is a good confluence level as i told you on the daily 200 moving average is there as well but this market is only only moving based on uh, the brexit news and uh, that circus uh, seems to keep going I don't see um, a way out of this yet uh, actually uh, it's all getting very very complicated but the time is running uh, and the clock is ticking so um, next week is gonna be very heavy uh, headlines on brexit and you if you're gonna trade this market you need to keep an eye on those headlines so once again good structure uh, sorry good level of possible support this is the the main swing swing low that should be defended and if broken that will open the door for more downside close this gap maybe and test these lows otherwise if you get a strong push here on the daily from this level there is a possibility for the continuation i will keep an eye on this trend line if this trend line got broken to the upside maybe i will start looking to buy as for now i'm watching to see if this gonna break then we're going to have another leg to the downside as simple as that but uh, yeah headlines headlines and headlines keep an eye on that um 
USD JAP weekly time frame we ended up in uh, as an inside bar on the weekly um, as you see here we have the uh, 200 moving average on the weekly monthly R1 uh, previous structure uh, been tested almost on the daily time frame you see that we uh, tested this uh, previous structure and uh, start reversing to the downside uh, one could read this as a possible retest of this uh, broken structure in any case i still see the 100 and 111 as a, a key support level so as for now uh, this seems to be uh, holding so where the market is testing right now is a possible support level i think um, if we go to lower time frame and we see any break above uh, these highs here could give us another push higher we could end up going sideways here on this market so 111 still key support level uh, up here 112 is also a, a key resistance level that we uh, should keep an eye at uh, so watch this level as well and uh, now we broke below this range as you see so support resistance up here a break below uh, this low here could mean that we open the door for more downside maybe toward 110 110 50 first to then reach 110 uh, usd cad daily time frame you see that we broke above this neckline uh, we broke above these highs i'm looking uh, to buy the dips the question is where so first level could be the uh, 1.3350 as a possible level for a bounce the second level would be a retest of this monthly r1 and this neckline to then uh, get the continuation now since we broke above previous neckline and previous highs i don't see anything to hold this market as uh, resistance looking left before we reach these levels up here so uh, that is the main scenario i'm looking for here correction to buy from this level uh, aussie usd um, let me go to the weekly time frame on that one we uh, see that on the weekly we broke uh, below uh, previous low here and um, there is a possibility for continuation to the downside on this market um, and uh, friday after those nfp uh, numbers uh, and after retesting the monthly s1 we've got a uh, push to the upside bullish engulfing so um, i'm looking for a bit of a higher correction to look for a possible continuation to the downside after we breaking on the daily as i showed you so uh, first level i'm watching is actually this major structure here on this market to see if we're gonna get another bounce to the downside usd chief also broke to the upside on the daily um, on thursday as you see here we broke previous high we did not break above this major structure though the rsi was at the overbought uh, when that happened and uh, we went back to retest the monthly r1 on this structure so we are testing a pretty important uh, level here as you see on the weekly time frame this is a uh, pretty strong area and uh, we failed to break it previously but now uh, if we look at this uh, after um, this retest we did not push much lower as you see what we got was a higher low and another strong uh, weekly candle so it looks to me like we building up for a possible uh, breakout on this market so that's what i'm looking for as first but uh, we do have some bearish divergence going on on the weekly but this could keep going this divergence keep going even if we break and test even higher so pretty interesting to see if we're gonna break above this previous high if that happened that will open the door for much more to the upside yeah so uh, mainly this uh, the thing is that we didn't get a much lower low here on after this retest as you see the previously we pushed all the way down here 
then we pushed a little bit lower but not as low as this one and now um, pretty uh, much uh, a very very short term correction before we pushed higher so the lows are getting higher and there is some build ups happening here for that possible breakout that is what i'm mainly looking at since we broke above previous highs here on the daily that made me look for that continuation so i will keep an eye on this uh, as i done here uh, possible retest of this structure as far as this low is not broken this kill zone could be the level to look for bullish evidence and uh, that possible continuation to the upside of this market and uh, new zealand usd still choppy inside this range if we look at the weekly time frame you see how uh, how it looks here the extreme high is up here at the uh, at the edges and we still have these lows here as support nothing has changed in this market yet we keep bouncing around uh, inside this range so um, we should uh, keep looking at these levels uh, right now the 200 moving average acting as support bullish engulfing on the daily last uh, Friday so I'm watching what will happen if this market uh, <coughs> test this uh, area where we have the monthly pivot point previous highs 200 moving average on the four hour <coughs> to look for a possible uh, bounce back down to the downside on this one especially if the Dixie keep moving um keep moving higher here so uh, yeah that was what i'm see for new zealand usd and that would be the last chart uh, for today as usual if you like these videos guys do not forget to hit the like button and if you're not subscribed yet do so for those of you who were uh, still uh, in the thinking process to join the course now is the time to take action i still have the offer of 200 dollars uh, off is still open so all you need to do is go to my site um, as you see the link below down here and uh, all the information you need is over there thank you very much guys see you next week bye bye